today we are talking about the escalator, also known as the circus start. So this is the trick. Okay, I'll do that again. Okay, I'm going to do a simple way with the legs together. I'm going to do a slightly harder way with the legs apart and when you kick it up like that. I'm going to do a, um, an alternative grab into a jump through and then I'm going to do an advanced trick with this which is with two hoops, one hoop up here and then kicking this one up and grabbing both up here. The way that I teach this trick is the hoop needs to be in your hand with it with the uh needs to be in the hand that you write with so if you're right-handed you're going to be holding your hoop in the right hand okay if you're left-handed you're going to grab the hoop with your left hand like this there's five points that the hoop should be touching and if you if any of these are wrong that means you're setting it up incorrectly so let's go through those the first point is obviously your hand the second point is the hoop should cross in front of your ankles. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but it should cross in front of your ankles. Okay. If you do this and it's crossing in front of your upper legs, then it's incorrect. Point number three should be very close to the ground or on the ground. So you see that the hoop is touching the ground right here next to me. Point number four, and this is probably the most important and what a lot of people forget, is it should be bracing the side of your left calf if you are holding it with your right hand. Right-handers look like this. See how it's bracing the side of my left calf? It should be touching my calf. Left-handers look like this. It should be touching your right hand. So that's point number four, and most important, I, I think. Point number five is it should be touching, depending on how big your hoop is, it should be touching your bum area, whether right underneath your bum or the small of your back. So because my hoop is smaller, it's touching, just grazing my bottom here. So hello, YouTube, this is my bottom. Okay. <laughs> so it would look like this for right-handers and like this for left-handers. Okay. Now, why should it be touching your bum? Well, that shows that that's an indication to you that the hoop is lined up straight and parallel with your body. If you do this, you see how it's kind of cocked forward, and it, I don't feel it on my bum. This is incorrect. So you could have all four points right. You could have your hand, the ground, in front of your ankles, and on the left, on the opposite side of your leg. But if it's not touching your bum, then you've got it somewhat weird and you need to kind of straighten it and tighten it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our opposite hand, the hand that we're not holding anything with. This is what we're going to do. This is what I teach my kids especially. You're going to go, hello, it's for you. Okay, I'll do that again. Hello, it's for you. Okay, now why am I doing that? Well, you want to make sure that your hand is going directly above your, um, your ear area. So it's in line with your ear. But what I don't want to see is your palms facing out. Your palms should stay facing in towards your head, not here. Why? Because when you grab it, the hoop's going to land in here. If your hand's out, your thumb's going to miss it, and it's going to hit the back of your hand. It's going to hurt. Now, you're going to notice that my arm is slightly bent. Now, this is going to differ for a couple reasons. If you're shorter and your hoop is larger, you have to go higher, okay, because it does matter how big your hoop is in relationship to your body. So if you're very tall and you're using a normal size hoop or a small hoop, you're going to have to go what? Lower. Because the hoop has less distance to travel. Now if I'm using a really big hoop, and a lot of my beginner students are, they're using the heavier PVC or heavier HDPE taped hoops, you're going to go slightly higher. Okay? And there's a sweet spot, and you'll eventually find it with enough practice. I automatically know that my sweet spot is right here when I'm using this hoop. I just know every time. And that just comes practice. And I know that if I'm too low, it goes and misses my hand. Okay? And I know if I go too high, it hits my arm. Okay? So you find the sweet spot, just keep practicing, and it'll hit in your hand every time. For the fun part, this is when you get to throw it. Hello, it's for you. Okay? Hand in, 
arm slightly bent. Guess to where you're going to put it. Now what you're going to do is I would recommend pushing with a flat hand. Okay. A lot of times people do this and they close their fingers and what that leads to is not letting go. And this is incorrect. It feels like you did it, but you really just handed it from this hand to this hand up here. The secret to this trick is the hoop is in the air and touching your body with no hands touching it for a split second between here and here. So watch that when I'm going to throw it and you're going to notice that my hand does not go past my chest point. Watch. See how my hand was right here? It never went up here. Okay, so from here to here is in the air and the hoop actually hits me right about here, spirals off my body and hits my hand. A lot of people do this. <laughs> okay, that's fear. All right, if you're fearful, you're going to recoil and you're gonna pull your hand down. You're gonna go, oh, it's gonna hit me. Don't do that, sorry. Put on some sunglasses. Protect your face. If you have expensive seeing glasses, you know, actual glasses on, take them off. Put some sunglasses on, or better yet, go into your garage and go get some safety glasses. You're going to push with a flat hand. Now, here's the deal. If you can't break your habit of closing your fingers in fear of doing this, then what I want you to do is I want you to push with two fingers. So you're going to make your hand look like this. You're going to put the hoop down, you're going to make two fingers right here, two fingers, and you're going to push with two fingers, hard. And when I say hard, I mean hard, okay? What's going to happen is if you don't throw it hard enough, it's just going to, meh, oh, okay? If you go too hard, it will actually go over your hand. Now, what do you do after you get it in your hand? Well, I would recommend you can go into lasso, which looks like this. So you're going to give it a quick grab to steady it, and then push. And if you're left-handed, no, sorry, if you're right-handed, it should be going counterclockwise, then switch to your right hand. Or you can do what I usually do, which is grab it, come around, and then pass it in the lasso. Sorry, not lasso, it's you um, orbit. So again here, throw and pass into orbit. Now, let's talk about the leg out. Same concept here. Okay. But what you're going to do is you're going to pull the opposite leg out of the hand you're holding it in. So if you're holding it in your right hand, you're going to pull your left leg out. Pull your left leg out. And you want to make sure that it's bracing the inside of your right leg now. So don't leave it here. Okay. Don't leave it in the middle, kind of like in the middle of this gap. Make sure it's bracing all the way over here. Okay. Now from here, you better pick your foot up fast because uh, I have definitely hurt my toes doing this. Okay. You want to pick your foot up and you want to keep all of your weight on your right leg or the leg that you're um, the same leg of your holding hand. Point your opposite leg, so point your toe because you're going to get ready to come up here so there's no point in making your weight distribution even because you're just going to have to pick this up anyway. Same concept, exact same motion except you're going to pick your leg up and you're going to pick it up in here. From here to here. Here, in, okay? And then keep going. Now what we're going to do is we're going to learn an alternative to get into the hoop and go into waist hooping. So what you're going to do, instead of grabbing it up here, hello, it's for you, you're going to make with your catching hand a teapot. The hoop is going to actually, you're going to throw it less hard than you would if you were doing this motion. It's actually going to catch in your armpit. So I'll show you that. Okay? Now, what's going to happen is you're going to notice that I've caught it down here and it's in my armpit and I've caught it right here. I'll do it again. Teapot, get ready for it with an open palm and catch it down here. Now, what's going to happen from here is the hoop is going to swivel down. You're going to loosen your grip on it and it's going to swivel down. From here, you're going to jump into it, catch it with the other hand, put on your waist and push. So that's a slow-mo version of it. This is the fast mo motion. Teapot, remember, you're going to catch it in here. It's going to be a fluid motion, so I'm not going to slow it down. Watch. Okay? Don't be too tight, because if you're too tight, it comes back down. See that? If you're too tight and you don't grab it in time, 
It's just going to hang out here. So make sure that you are catching it with your armpit and your hand, but not too tightly because you want it to keep rotating. This is what you want. You want it to keep rotating. Then you can jump into it. Okay? So one more time. Teapot. Catch. In. Push. You're pushing with the same hand you originally threw it with. So if you're right-handed, you throw. You catch it in your left armpit with your left hand. You jump in. You grab it. You push here with your right hand again. So it's right hand's in charge. Left hand, left armpit's in charge. Right pushes. There you go. Okay? So that's number two. Now I'm going to show you the advanced version for all of you advanced tubers out there. Everything I'm saying right now is for right-handers. Okay? Right-handers should be going anti-clockwise spin. In your left hand, come up into lasso and make sure that the left hand's going anti-clockwise. Okay? Now what you're going to do from here is you can do all the tricks you want. And then from here, you're going to decide you're going to come in. Place your, your leg inside. If you, you want to do both legs inside, you can. And all the while, you're still going lasso up here. I'm going to throw it, and they'll both end up in lasso above my head in my left hand. Okay? So, watch. And you might want to duck out of it. I duck all the time out of this one. Sometimes it will land on your arm, and that's okay. You want to spin as fast as you can, anti-clockwise if you're right-handed, to get them even again. Left-handers do it opposite with the left hand, and make sure you're going clockwise with your right hand, and then throw up here with your left hand. That is the uh, circus start or the escalator, and I hope you all have an awesome rest of the day.